हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टॉपिक फॉर टुडेज क्लास इज न्यूट्रिशनल सर्वेलेंस वी हैव अंडरस्टूड द टर्म सर्वेलेंस सो फार वी हैव आल्सो अंडरस्टूड द टर्म डिजीज सर्वेलेंस इन द इनिशियल चैप्टर्स ऑफ कम्युनिटी मेडिसिन दिस वर्ड न्यूट्रिशन सर्वेलेंस इज बेसिकली डेराइव फ्रॉम द वर्ड डिजीज सर्वेलेंस and as we all know the disease surveillance is is basically searching for cases of diseases in community so what do you mean by nutritional surveillance nutritional surveillance basically is keeping watch over the nutrition status of the community what do you mean by that that means there's a community we will choose certain people in the community as a sample and we'll use certain parameters in order to assess the nutrition status of those sample population so nutrition surveillance is basically watching over the nutrition of a particular community and what we are doing why we are doing this we are doing this in order to make certain important decisions related to that community that is we want to improve the nutrition status if required now we need to understand why exactly we are doing this nutrition surveillance what is the importance of doing this nutrition surveillance nutrition surveillance is done in a community in order to number 1 do planning now planning for what we need to do long term planning regarding health and development of that community secondly we want to see the impact of any nutrition related program in a community thirdly we also want to get timely information about the nutrition status of the community so that timely action can be taken in order to make any sort of improvements in that community so these are the three main objectives of doing nutritional surveillance that is we want to give timely support to the population of that community in order to prevent them from any future problem secondly the main reason is we want to evaluate the imp- impact of ongoing nutritional programs for example there's a community there's uh, from uh, last so many years a particular program is running in that com- in that particular community that, uh, let it be if i talk about at a state level a program of wifs is going on weekly iron and folic acid supplementation so in order to see the effect of this weekly iron and folic acid supplementation program i'll choose samples from a particular community and check out the iron or hb level in community whether there is any improvement in hemoglobin level in the community due to wifs so what we are doing over here is we are serving a particular community in order to find out whether nutrition status of that community is adequate or not so that is all about nutritional surveillance this is the basic behind nutritional surveillance people confuse two terms growth monitoring and nutritional surveillance these are totally two different entities there is nothing to confuse between these two let us see how they differ and usually you are asked in uh, uh, in examination also regarding the difference between growth monitoring and nutritional surveillance as we all know that growth monitoring is one of the important components at anganwadi center wherein we plot the weight for age of a child right from the beginning right from the birth or you can say from before 6 months of the age till 3 years of age we are plotting the growth of the child in the form of weight charts who weight charts are being used we plot monthly growth 
and check for the curve right so this is growth monitoring the concern in growth monitoring basically is that we have to check whether all the children who are registered under anganwadi whether they are growing normally or not right but what is the main focus of nutritional surveillance here the focus is not finding out the pattern of growth in the population here the focus is in order to find out whether under nutrition over nutrition or any other major problem exists within the population under study so nutritional surveillance basically aims at surveying the community to find out any under nutrition over nutrition or any other nutrition related problem in the community so that we can correct it at the earliest growth monitoring on the other hand it focuses on whether the child is growing normally or not so this growth monitoring can be done by mother itself mother can weigh the child and mother can very well understand through the growth curves whether the child is growing normally or not but if i talk about nutrition surveillance here nutrition surveillance the work basically is not just not not of the mother but of the trained workers only trained workers can evaluate the nutrition status of the population here the major role is of mother no doubt workers are also there anganwadi workers are playing the major role but mother can also understand it here the major role is played by highly expert team members another point of difference between growth monitoring and nutritional surveillance is growth monitoring is done for children so that specifically under the anganwadi how many children are enrolled those will be monitored here in nutritional survey we will be focusing on the population under survey whichever population will be choosing will be doing nutritional surveillance for that particular population now moving forward to other differences between growth monitoring and nutrition surveillance growth monitoring basically is an activity wherein we are doing everything in order to motivate child not basically the child motivate mother and family members to focus upon their child on the other hand if i talk about nutritional surveillance the major objective the main objective behind nutritional surveillance is we have to plan interventions if in case there is any particular nutritional problem in a community the pro- the main uh, agenda of nutritional surveillance or we can say the main uh, strategy of nutritional surveillance is to plan interventions for those nutritional problems in a community if i talk about growth monitoring growth monitoring basically is done for children 6 months to 3 years or somewhere you can say it, it is also some growth charts take it till 5 years of age it is done for any of the representative sample which we choose any age group sample wherein we want to check the nutrition representative sample the nutritional surveillance can be done now uh, this is growth monitoring is a very simple and uh, not so tedious process while if i talk about nutritional surveillance it requires lots of efforts we need to plan uh, a format of surveillance or we need to plan tests or any other measures which we will be using for nutritional surveillance then only we can conduct it so it is to the point precise and tedious process in comparison to growth monitoring next point of difference between growth monitoring and nutritional surveillance is that if we find uh, find out that there is a, a child who is uh, deficient in growth or who is not growing properly who is lying into the yellow or red zone of our growth chart our intervention would be first of all guiding the mother to improve the nutrition of the child or by anganwadi will be giving some extra nutrition to the child so here the main intervention we do is at home level if no improvement is seen we can refer the child to the 
higher center. But if we talk about nutritional surveillance, here our major response towards uh, finding out any undernourishment in a community or over nutrition in a community is we go for supplements to improve the nutrition status of the community. So this basically is by providing supplement or in the other way we can say the agenda is we will do nutritional rehabilitation of the community. In growth monitoring, the major focus lies on primary health care. That is, we can uh, look out for the reasons uh, why the child is not growing properly and we can take interventions accordingly. For example, if a child is having diarrhea, due to which we, can, uh, we found out that uh, weight was low, so we can go for ORS or other alternatives available. Similarly, if a child is having uh, anemia, maybe because of the worms, so we can go for deworming, albendazole we can give. So interventions are taken accordingly. But here the main agenda is we will be going for food supplements. We will be providing food supplements or food subsidy. To the community. I hope now the difference between growth monitoring and nutritional surveillance is clear. So growth monitoring is a narrow concept wherein we will be dealing only with the children and nutritional surveillance will be dealing with the all with almost every age group. We will be surveying a particular age group or different age groups at a time it can be according to the survey strategy or survey methodology so the focus over here is to plan or uh, to improve the growth of child while the focus of nutritional surveillance is a broader perspective wherein we are interested in diagnosing undernutrition and at the same time doing interventions for that community to resolve the problem of undernutrition in the community one more thing which I earlier mentioned also was that this nutritional surveillance is one of the mechanism to see whether any national health program is implementing properly or not. That is it is a key for evaluation of health programs also. Now uh, if we want to basically uh, cut short uh, and describe the difference between nutritional surveillance and growth monitoring in just one line we can say that growth monitoring is basically an activity which is oriented to an individual child here again we are concerned with an individual child if we talk about nutritional surveillance we are concerned with the representative sample of children of community or representative sample of any particular age group in a community here we are comparing whether, uh, for example, there is a village A, uh, we, are uh, we took a sample of few children in a community, then there is a village B, we took a sample of a children in this community, then there is a village C. So, through nutritional surveillance, we can find out whether the nutrition status of village A is better than B or C or any of these have a poor nutrition status in comparison to other villages. And herein we can also see if we plan any intervention measures in the poorest uh, nutrition uh, village whether those interventions are useful or not. So this is how nutritional surveillance helps. Now I will be moving towards what are the indicators uh, which help us in assessing the nutritional status of the children that will be covered in another video. Thank you.